All right, so we're gonna shoot a little video now that I've gotten rid of so many of my cabs and I'm just keeping it simple. A 212 Mesa with vintage 30s. And this is the Cat 5. It's kind of like a matchless 212. It comes stock with two Celestian Golds. I switched out one of the Golds and put a vintage 30. And I think I'm liking this. I don't know, this is what I've been using. Uh, the two Golds was a little bit intense. I mean, it's a Brad Paisley signature, so it was a little, I don't know, bright country? I don't know. But anyway, there you go. So you got a 57 on a on the gold and you've got a Royer on the on the finish 30 and then down there's a uh uh 57 and a biodynamic 160 and we're just going to try a couple of guitars um my Gretsch Les Paul and Strat I think we're mainly just going to maybe just mess around with between these two amps between the 77 Marshall and the Cat 5 I kind of want to see like, what's the balance of this? Because the the the, the cat the cat five amp with the cat five cab with the two celestial golds and the strat was so like I don't know it was cool it was just lively so we're gonna see what's going on you excited Bo? Oh, Go. Yeah. Okay, so the video may just kind of start here. I may cut the whole beginning out because I was running my Cat 5 and I'll, I'll play those tracks. And I was having a good time. But then I was like, man, my AC30 is not here. That's just going to be weird. And I was looking at a basement, and I was like, I don't know, man. Anyway, the video, the, I have handheld video of me and my son fitting this thing in here. And we had to raise up. Here, I'll take a picture of it so we can pop it in. I raised up. And I'll do a little video. I had to raise up that tray with all of the pedals it was so heavy and it was so difficult but now i've got my ac30 there look who came in and helped all right so we're gonna i can't flip it around but okay so disregard my whole concept of the video is over it isn't what it did was it posed more you know what i miss this ah this is so hard to get it all in here but i miss my ac30 and it's in the K, it's in the in the cab. It's just a pain in the butt to deal with. I usually take it out, put it on the rack. But I like the way this is set up. I'm gonna try putting it under there. If that works, that's gonna be awesome. Oh and of course I get this FM9 right here, so oh my god, it's gonna work. It's tight, it's too tight. So this has to come up one rack space. Oh my God, that's such a pain in the butt. All right, hang loose. All right, so we move this whole rack up one slot and there is an AC30 and it's patched in. Do you think we have sound? Oh, it's lighting up. You know what, go grab me, go grab me. Grab me that little black guitar that's right there. Is that the one that you No. Oh my God. No, I got. I ended up getting a new pick guard. I don't like that pick. Oh no, that's on the on the. Uh, oh, be careful. That's on the. So you. All right, hold on. No, so I'm plugging in my little my little favorite Yamaha. All right. I'll turn this. This this pot is dirty. Do you think we have sound? Yeah. Think I did it. So here is, this is AC30 with the Les Paul.
and it's just in the, the uh, top boost. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to go to the Strat, which is the same order. Strat. AC30 looks a little louder. It's all right. We'll, we'll just. I'm telling you, it's a lot of work, man. Back in that two position. trying to play kind of the same thing you know no pedals just straight in and now and this was really a reason why I was like I gotta get my because I didn't really like the way this guitar worked with the matchless as much so maybe maybe this will be better so now we're whatever this thing is called is a Gretsch something Gretsch and I'm doing the same thing where I'm uh Gretchen, Gretch. Not changing the, the settings, everything's just, you know. Oh, how did that get out of tune? Oh, I know why. The door was open. It's really hot and humid. The guitars off. Sorry about that. Ugh. I always say my videos will get better and more organized, but maybe they won't. Maybe you'll just have to endure a little of this. So if you like super slick, quick, to the point, sell, selling you gear videos, this ain't the place. All right. So here is the Gretsch. Okay, so now what we're going to do is put that on standby, pop in the Mesa with the Vintage 30s. This is the closed back cab, different speakers, different mics, and this is also going through a pair of Brent Averills. Okay, so now this is the Vintage 30 cap through the API with, again, with the gray. Okay, kind of a discombobulated playing there, but you get the gist of it. Now we're back on the list, Paul. And here it is with 
the uh, AC30 and the Vintage 30s. It just sounds like rock and roll. This though this AC30 takes uh, humbuckers really well. Um, I've had AC30s that just didn't, but I, I you know AC30s and Les Pauls is not the holy grail. This is more the AC30 Tele Strats. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can get this going on here. We got a few minutes. So I would be safe to say, it's funny that Gretsch isn't particularly louder. Ah, this is louder, except for this. I'm just gonna go like this for right now. I'm just gonna kinda tuck this in. Maybe just see if I can make these. Let's just listen a second. So here is uh, Vintage 30 with the Les Paul and the Matchless. Yeah, it's close. Close enough for rock and roll. All right, so here we go. So let's, uh, that's kind of exciting. I've been kind of dying to get, you know, I've been on so many projects and I haven't had any time to have fun and figure out, oh, this is cool, all right? So here's the Cat 5 with the Vintage 30s and the Les Paul. Same thing with the Vox. So, the Cat 5 has, to, all right, so here's my take on it, has more, oh, it's more dominant. The AC30 has more of a hollowness. I think they're going to be great together. And a part of this AC30 charm, I think, is that that hollowness does, it really is nice with certain, especially certain singers, it gives them more spot. So here again, here's, AC, here's the Cat 5 amp with the Vintage 30s. And AC30. Now they're both cool. So here's the Cat 5 amp with the Cat 5 open back cab. Same thing with the Les Paul, same guitar. I like that sound, and here it is with the, with the Vox and the Cat 5 cab. Cat 5 amp. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are starting to formulate. Here's the Strat 
in, with the Cat 5 amp, which is like a matchless kind of thing, into the vintage 30s. Strat. <laughs> Same cap, same guitar, now with the AC-30. And I would shave off some of that top, but you can hear it, it's hollower, it's, it's perfect, it's, it's, it's across the board. And the Cat 5 amp. All right, nice. Now we're going to do the Cat 5 amp with the Cat 5 cab. This is the open back cab with the Strat. And now, same thing with the Strat, but with the AC-30. Matchless, Cat 5, AC 30, Chimey. Now the Gretsch. So this is what I was, this is what was weird. Here's the Gretsch with the Cat 5 into the Cat 5 cab. A very strange reaction to that for some odd reason. I don't it really doesn't normally sound like that, but here it is with the AC-30. It's better kind of through the, the less meat, the less meat. Where's the meat? The meat is more on the matchless. Here's the Gretsch with the AC-30 into the Vintage 30 cab. That's nice, and here, same same setup, vintage 30 cab, but with the Cat 5. So anyway, there you go. I got to go teach. Well, it's all nice. It's crazy having the AC30 back, though. I got to tell you, it is crazy. It feels so weird. Like, it doesn't feel like a studio <laughs> without an AC30. I don't know. Maybe it's just my phobia. I'm going to take a picture. This is a crazy picture, though. There you go. I don't know how I'm going to put this this together, but somehow we'll, we'll make all this happen. All right, kids? Like and subscribe.